In auto account accounting, year end closing is not mandatory. Thus, users have the flexibility to easily access to preceding or subsequent fiscal years. To manage your fiscal years, let's go to Tools, Manage Fiscal Year. By default, only current fiscal year is created. Current fiscal year is determined during creation of this account book. You may click on Edit Fiscal Year to change the start date, the end date, and fiscal year name. However, when there are transactions involved, these dates are not changeable. To add previous fiscal year, click on New Previous Fiscal Year. Define the start date that must be on the first day of any month. The end date is predetermined according to its subsequent fiscal year start date. Then click on OK. You may click to highlight the fiscal year on the top row to create a new fiscal year before the highlighted fiscal year if necessary. To add a next fiscal year, click to highlight the fiscal year at the most bottom and click on New Next Fiscal Year. Define the end date. The end date of fiscal year must be on the last day of any month and click on OK. You may repeat the same steps to add more fiscal years. This is very useful if you need to proceed with transactions without doing year end closing on current fiscal year. The current fiscal year indicator, the checkbox, will move forward only after year end closing. Because year end closing is not mandatory, the indicator may remain at 2009 though you are already in year 2010 or later. This check symbol is important to indicate the year which the current opening balance is referred to. If you click on any fiscal year and click on Manage Fiscal Year, will allow you to lock the periods or the months of a fiscal year. To lock is to prevent from further amendment after you have done the transactions. You may also highlight the month and click on Manage Exceptions. This is to set the access rights or the exception to these log menus for a specific user or user groups. Let's say I highlight the AR invoice and I check on the user groups admin and sales and click on apply. To remove this, you just highlight the row and uncheck the checkboxes and click on apply. Log opening balance is used to lock the opening balance from further amendment. When this is checked, the following three functions will be disabled. Can direct edit debtor creditor opening balance is to allow to key in directly in the opening balance for debtor or creditor. This is usually used on non-open item debtors or creditors. Reset data creditor opening balances to zero is to set the value of opening balances data and creditors to zero. Update data creditor opening balance from past AR and AP transactions. By default, after keying in past AR or AP documents, the opening balance will be updated. If it is not, run this function. Update last month year to date balance from AR and AP transactions. The system will calculate from related AR and AP transactions and update to the last month of year to date balance maintenance. I'm talking about the data and credit account. And this feature is used only when the actual data start date is later than current fiscal year started and the checkbox of balance brought forward in the last month of year to date balance in tools options general application setting is check actual data started is used to define the first day of the month which the system is actually used for transaction
Pay attention to the situation when actual data start date is different from current fiscal year start date and decide how you like to deal with the opening bands. All these options are available only for current fiscal year. Click on close. That's all for managed fiscal year. Thank you.